What's going on YouTube? Modeling that back at you. Build update part two for today. As you can see, we have paint on the Macabre Mobile. So I uh, used Tamiya X1 uh, with a little bit of leveling thinners uh, just to get the base color down. Again, it's not completely shiny. Uh, I do like using the leveling thinners just to have it smooth out a little bit. Um, Things like that. Let me lock that in so I can rotate this around. Um, obviously, I did get a little bit of debris on it from the flocking that I'll be talking about. Excuse me, in a moment. But for the most part, it was dry enough that it uh, didn't stick. So, I do have a few marks here on the back. I'm just going to very carefully try to wet sand out. See how that goes. First time really trying that. Uh, same with the hood. There's uh, one spot that I just am not, or a couple of tiny spots I'm just not happy with. So try to wet sand those out. But overall, the black went down really smooth. So once I get those sanded out, uh, we'll be getting ready to clear coat this girl and get her all ready to go. So yeah, go ahead and set that back up here on top just to protect it. Um, I do also have the doors. They are just uh, off screen here. Let me grab one. You can see. Doors went down really nicely. Things like that. So, yeah, looking really good. I got the base coat or the base done as well. Uh, so, this is still drying, so I won't pick it up or remove it too much. But, um, pretty much used the same technique, but this time I actually used the uh, rapid thinners, just a little bit of that, just to make it dry off a little quicker. Make it more of a semi gloss black. Um, however, uh, as I had done with the battery, went ahead and laid on a thicker coat, so it was able to get uh, more of the true gloss black, if I can catch it in the light, there we go, more of a true gloss black, um, as it would be, you know, obviously a hard plastic, so, so yeah, got the battery down as well, let that dry, uh, valve covers, you might have noticed as well. Biggest thing that I got done is, uh, tonight was the interior. So uh, what I used was um, a base coat of Mr. Color Tan. So laid that down first. Then I used, because um, I was covering the whole interior, Super 77 uh, from Scotch. So you can see I picked it up from Hobby Lobby. Sprayed the interior with that. Let it sit for about 10-15 eh, seconds just to kind of get a little bit of the gases out of it and make it a little tacky. And then I used uh, this material. Uh, the color is called Nude or Flush Flocking. This is actually flocking that uh, they sell for making um, uh, bird de uh, decoys. So you can get them in all sorts of colors. Um, I have an entire drawer of flocking materials in all different colors and things like that. But use the nude flush just to kind of get that bright, kind of tannish white uh, color. Um, you can kind of see it a little bit here on the tops of where the seats will mount. Um, that's kind of the area that you, you'll see it the most. Uh, obviously damage just a little tiny bit of it here while I was working with it but that should be hidden under the front seat so shouldn't be a problem then took mixed up a about a 60% uh, beige brown to about 40% ochre brown mix uh, with some thinners and a couple of drops of air uh, airbrush thinner and sprayed this over and I'll try to get the white balance to grab it as the eye sees it but it's going to be kind of difficult probably because cameras just don't pick up the same um but it's not as dark uh it's a very heavy contrast there we go. it's a really heavy contrast here on the video however in real life it's a really um kind of muted contrast um, once I got done kind of spraying on or putting the getting that color on top of the flock um, I then came back you know probably a good 10-15 inches like this um, and just used the airbrush again just misted over the entire thing that dark color just to kind of blend all of the lines and things like that so 
Um, so yeah, got the uh, base colors down now for all of the leopard print. Cheetah print that will go on. So I also have the two seats, bucket seats, done here. And I also have the door panels over here. So, um, yeah, so far coming along really nicely. I do need to actually uh, scrape off just a little bit of it here on the top part. As uh, looking at a couple of reference photos, this should be leather. Um, so when I come back to uh, uh, go through and paint the rest of the door jam and things like that the the black I'll go ahead and mask that off or you know, scrape all of the flocking off and things like that it'd be too big of a mess to try to do it tonight with the glue still tacky um, so give it a day or two and it should be able to scrape off a little easier so that is pretty much it for tonight um, again, a lot of tonight was around getting the flocking material and getting the colors down, uh, just to give them a day or two to dry here. Next step that I'm going to do is using, uh, the Vallejo. I'll be using beige brown, and there is a German camo brown, which is nearly like a black brown, like a super dark brown, that really will fit the bill for it. So, it's going to be coming in, uh, with a thin little brush. Uh, then a little brush like this, getting, uh, getting some paint on it and then literally just putting in the hundreds of little dots and marks all over the seats and stuff like that of the print. Then coming back through, uh, with the beige brown, uh, to put in the center of every single one as well. So that's probably going to take me, um, you know, an afternoon or an evening just doing that, um, at least so. Uh, but obviously you guys will come along for the ride with that. Uh, in the interim, I'll probably go ahead and look to get the gloss coat down onto uh, the body of the car. And get that drying under a hood. That way, try to keep as much debris off of it as I can. But hopefully you guys have been, have been enjoying the builds again. Uh, probably going to start doubling up on updates here. Just so that I can get this out to you guys uh, with the reveal on Halloween. So... Hope you guys are having a good week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.